What is up my friends, American OG Son here. And I just, I'm um, starting to get back into traditional art and I thought it would be a good time to maybe show off some of my old artwork. And I say old, I did these all last year. Uh, acrylic paint is my medium of choice when it comes to traditional work. And I do a lot of fluid uh, acrylic pours and I do some other things with acrylics and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So this, uh, let me get this where you can see it. This painting here is called West. And uh, what I was trying to achieve with this, and I think I really liked the way it came out, was uh, I wanted this to look like a coastline. So I actually did three different pours. And you can tell, they're just three different ones. And I had all the paint mixed up at the same time. So uh, when I poured them, I got this really cool coastline effect and uh, surprisingly it was one of the few times I actually planned one of these out and it came out the way I wanted it to. As you can see this is a pretty big canvas. It was a pretty big pour project and I was super amazed that it came out the way I wanted it to. Now this next one, uh, what I was going for here was a uh, like a cherry blossom look and I have to kind of hold this at a weird angle because it's it's shiny and this was one of my first uh, real dives into acrylic pour and I, I wanted this uh, really kind of dreamy looking top with the, with the violets and the pinks melding together and then uh, my forest down below and uh, since I was kind of new at acrylics and pours at the time that I did this, uh, that's why it's so shiny because I had so much crap added into my acrylics uh, that it came out shiny. Even after it's completely dry, it's still, you can tell, it's got a, a big shine on it. But this is, I just really like uh, this up here, the, this part. Uh, I like the whole painting. It came out pretty good, but I can't say that I planned this whole thing out. It just kind of happened. Now, as I was kind of getting more into acrylics, this, uh, and I don't even remember what I named this. This started as a pour. Uh, this area was a pour, and then... Uh, like most things I saw a face and then I just started uh, playing with colors and cutting in shapes with my palette knife and uh, we ended up with this and it's uh, kind of one of my half creepy looking things and I was really surprised at how well uh, the coat came out the, the little cloak down here on the bottom and uh, yeah I made the proportions weird and everything like I always do and uh, this one came out better than I thought it was going to, to tell you the truth. Now this guy here, this is one of my favorite just straight pours. And uh, this was a black canvas I bought. And I started off with just a green and black and white pour. And I just wanted to see what would happen. And as I did this huge giant pour, this face popped out. So then I just started cutting the lines in the face and then adding some more black for the mouth and the nose and the eyes. And uh, this guy really came out good. This is, this is one of my favorites that I've done. Uh, and if you're a, a fan of the color green, this is a good one here. Uh, I just really like the way it came out. This is kind of what... Uh, I was talking about when I said uh, when I do pours I see faces and I try to bring them out this is a perfect example of that now this one was not a pour this was uh, I took my squirt bottles or my little squeeze bottles of paint and I just started uh, laying down the big shapes, just like I do on the digital work. And then I started adding paint, uh, blacks and whites and reds. 
uh, just adding in the big shapes and then straight up using my palette knife to cut it in and uh, me and this microphone are about to have a fight so after I cut it in uh, I got a lot of detail in this one and if you use the blacks and whites and you mix them and you drag one to the other you get these really cool line effects now this one here is kind of the same thing but to the extreme I call this one spring spirit and uh, it did start off as a pour in this whole general area and uh, then I kind of saw the body pop out and then I added the face and just started doing some more pour and uh, using my palette knife to cut things in and uh, I really like the way this one came out and these uh, these colors on this thing I really like Now this one you can see uh, on my channel if you see me painting the skull outside this is it right here this is the one I was painting and this is how it came out after it's dried uh, well, came out with really good detail really good lines uh, this is straight up uh, it's not a pour it's just me using my my squirt bottles and laying down the big black shapes and then carving everything out with a, a knife and then when the uh, like say I, I, I put too much black down then you just go back over it with white and you drag the white back to the black and you end up with some really good details but yeah you can watch the video of me making this one it's out there somewhere on my YouTube and this is the one that I do outside and you can see I really like big canvases I'll I'll get all my littler canvases out someday and show you those. And uh, kind of keep in mind too, I, I, I bet I've given away 20 more than I'm showing here. These are just kind of the ones I have left. Now this one here, this is actually my most popular traditional work. Uh, when it comes to uh, what I've posted online, I've got more response from this one than any of them. And the thing about this one is this was an accident. Uh, I did a pour with the intention of, of pulling a skull out of it. Uh, but when I set the pour down to dry so I could go back with a white, uh, I had it sitting kind of at an angle and I didn't realize it. And with these giant canvases, you got to kind of really pay attention, especially if you're going for something specific. Because this whole face just slid off that side. So what I did was I came back with my white paint in my squirt bottles and that's how I achieved this ragged coming to pieces look and uh, like especially right here on the jaw. I really like how this came out uh, but that is achieved with me going back with white paint and just like I used the eraser on my digital art I used the white paint on this one to carve it back out and uh, it actually came out a whole lot better than it was originally. Uh, this one is called Going to Pieces. And uh, this is uh, my most popular uh, traditional work that I've posted online. I've got more response from this than any of the rest. And it is super thick and heavy with paint. I don't know if you can... There's a little close-up on it. But the colors, the... The contrast, everything. I love this one. And last but not least, you're going to recognize this one. This one is going to my buddy Mama Q. This one's called Escape of the Ragged, and this is actually my second most popular painting that I've ever posted online. I'm trading this straight up for a Baby Yoda drawing, and I'm super happy that this is going to a place where it will be enjoyed and appreciated. Uh, the skull came out really cool, uh, but I really like how the butterfly came out. Uh, kind of give you guys a close-up of that butterfly. And this was not a pour. I did start off with a wet background of white. 
and then it's just me laying down black paint and then carving the lines uh, just cutting the lines with uh, a palette knife and uh, this one came out really nice and you could tell I really got into the skull thing uh, traditional painting which I, I still do a lot of skulls uh, and when I get back in to my traditional paints uh, we'll be doing a lot of skulls that's all I'm saying so we will uh, when we get our baby Yoda picture we're gonna hang it right here by Iron Man and uh, right over here by the OG sign that my son Arthur drew for me and uh, We'll get it posted up there. And I'll be super proud to have it and hang it up here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do digital art throughout the week. And then on Fridays, uh, if you want to come and hang out with me, we'll do a traditional acrylic painting right here. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to show off some of my art and uh, maybe get you interested in coming by and hanging out with me. Maybe we'll be able to come up with another cool one like these. And uh, that's about it. I got to go back to work tonight. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing some stuff off. Let you guys know what my plans were. It's probably going to be digital art. And then uh, Fridays we'll do some traditional work. And I'll try to get back in the practice so I can get some more of this stuff done for you. Just a quick one. Till the next video, remember OG-san's got your back, and OG-san out.